Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual. Make sure to smash that like, subscribe button down below. Really would appreciate it. Um, man, it's a cold SLB out here. I don't even see that, but damn, it's cold. Christmas is here for sure. And hopefully for XRP price. You know, guys, today um, I was kind of doing some reflection. Um, looked at the first video I ever posted on this channel, which was five years ago. Got like seven and a half thousand views at the time. That seven and a half thousand views, that meant a lot at that time. When I posted on a channel with no subscribers and immediately after posting that and putting it over on the XRP forums, you know, reached the channel to like 2,000 subscribers. I was like, wow, maybe I got something here. But you know what the thing is? Kind of reflecting on the whole channel here and um, all the discussion that's been had about XRP price. That's what people are most interested about when it comes to XRP is, hey, where's the price going to go? What's it going to do? How high is it really going to go? And during my reflection, I couldn't help but just go over in my mind all the comments I read who weren't even necessarily Bitcoin maximalists. They were actually XRP holders and they're saying like, dude, come on, Alex, like what? XRP can't hit $10. That mean it has a trillion dollar market cap. No crypto is going to have a trillion dollar market cap. But then it's like, okay, well, in late 2017, XRP reached a price of you know, $3.84, averaging the all the markets together, mainly US dollar, Korean, that was the most liquidity at the time. Uh, XRP actually only hit about $3.50 in the United States in 2017, but then in Korea, it got to like 4 12 or something. And averaging those together, it comes out about three eighty. dollars So we already kind of did get 30% of the way to a trillion dollar market cap in 2017. But one argument I've always heard it, it's this like market cap wall theory. It's like, oh, XRP, it, there, oh, there's no way it could break this market cap. Oh, well, you're saying if XRP is $15, then it's going to be worth $1.5 trillion? There's no way. But dude, really, like for XRP to actually work, this thing needs to be at a high price coin. It, it needs to be $100. Like it has to be $100 to work. I'm not saying Ripple's going to fail, but for XRP, XRP to ultimately succeed the previous financial system and um all you gold and silver bugs out there you're probably aware of the uh every 30 to 40 years there's a major monetary uh system shift and at one point it was a gold standard then it's like okay we're gonna back like half the gold then it's like quarter gold reserve then it's like no gold reserves and we are now due it's that point in time where it's 30 40 years where we are ready for the next shift in the monetary system I'm sure a lot of you guys that buy into gold and silver, you've seen that one, like, I don't know, 10, 20 million view YouTube video about, you know, gold and silver and how monetary system, every 40, every 30 to 40 years has a dramatic shift every, every 30, 40 years. Right. And you always have these people saying, oh, well, no, XRP can't hit a hundred dollars. Why do people say XRP can't hit a hundred dollars? The only reason, I mean, they don't have a problem with, you know, Ethereum going to a hundred dollars. I forgot. We actually Ethereum blew higher than that, but. Yeah, you know, just think of some other coins out there that are like, you know, on the pennies. They have no problem thinking those can go to 100 because, of, you know, the supply. At the end of the day, for, for XRP to really do what it needs to do and what it desperately wants to do, this thing's got to be a high price. This thing's got to be at $100 per coin. It has to be. And you might be thinking, oh, that's crazy. XRP, $100. $100 times $100 billion. That's Dude, that's a freaking... It's like 10 trillion market cap. That could never happen. How, how is that going to work? Dude, we're going for all the money. We're going for all of the money. I'm tired. Like, I've heard this so many times, even not even from people anti XRP. I'm talking people that hold XRP, but are still a little bit skeptical on how far the price can go. It's always the same thing. Oh, well, dude, we can't hit this price because then it would be this market cap, and that is just impossible. There's a magic ceiling of market cap where it just, it can't go above that. It doesn't make any sense. We just put into perspective how when we say all the money, Ripple is going after all the money. We're working with 40 to 50 central banks as of four years ago. I imagine that's probably around 60, 70, 80 by now, somewhere in that ballpark. Work with some of the largest banks in the world. Working with the number one largest private bank in the world, the Mitsubishi Financial Group. Of course, the top three banks in the world are all Chinese. Those aren't really private banks, I would say. Um, but the number one private bank in the world, fourth largest bank in the world, period. 
Mitsubishi Financial Group, they're on the Replenish Steering Committee, Bank of America, American Express. You can go down the whole list, right? We're going after all the money, guys. We're going after all the money. Yeah, you know, five, ten dollar XRP. Hey, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be awesome. Probably gonna shave off like 10, 15% off my bag. Put some money in the savings account, but the end game with XRP, it's gonna be a hundred dollars plus. It's all the money, bro. We're go we're trying to become the center of all the money in the world. And again, right now, just saying that, you're probably thinking the same thing I am. This kid sounds crazy. I know, I think I sound crazy. But one thing I like that Steve Jobs always said is the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world usually do. Except I'm not doing anything for Purple XRP. I'm not building on it. I'm not getting partnerships. I'm just helping spread the word. And keep the morale up in the community. But, you know, let's just take the, the Chinese yuan or as I don't know like where you call it differently but um sometimes it's called RNB 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 I think and then Chinese yuan right they're like two different names I think because <laughs> I've heard RNB be used before the Chinese yuan alone and again we're going after all the money here China's currency alone has a market cap of 2.2 billion bitcoin at current prices 2.2 billion bitcoin at current prices which is it possible? There's only like, you know, 18 million right now. Only 24 million to ever be existed. But 2.2 billion Bitcoin, it's like $35 trillion. That is just China's currency's market cap. You take the United States, it's like a one, or the, the US dollar, world reserve currency of the earth. Don't know how long that's going to hold, but the US dollar has a market cap about 1.4 billion Bitcoin. That comes out to what? 20 something trillion, 15, 20 trillion. And people always say it's crazy. Oh my God, well, how could XRP get to $100 a coin? How's it going to get to $50 a coin? The, the market cap is just going to be too crazy. Dude, the market caps of the of the world's biggest currencies are crazy enough. I just talked about two currencies. Two of the most, like, um, I don't know if I'd call it strongest currencies in the world, but two of the most biggest currencies in the world United States dollar, the Chinese yuan. Just those two together combined. That's about $55 trillion in market cap. You guys, I can't help myself. I got a cough. I'm sick right now. I don't know what it is, but... <coughs> I'm sick as a dog right now. And yeah, we've all been sick, doing nothing, laying in bed, trying to sleep. I start thinking, right? So just the two largest currencies in the world, that's $55 trillion in market cap. Just two. Not even talking about Europe, Korea, Japan. Russia. I'm not talking about any of the other. I'm just talking about two is already at $55 trillion in market cap. Oh, but how can XRP hit $100? I made mean, a $10 trillion market cap. Dude, we're, try we're talking about all the money here. The Forex market moves like $5 trillion a day, bro. And XRP at the current prices, you know, what is it, 37 38 cents right now? Should be way above that, but hey, you know what? Longer time to get cheaper XRP. I understand. Not a bad place to be. You know, at the big Ripple swell, uh, Brad Garlinghouse announced that RippleNet has processed $30 billion total on RippleNet. Not the XRP ledger. The XRP ledger has transferred far more than $30 billion. But just the product that Ripple licenses out to companies, fintechs, financial institutions, banks. Just that product they've been, you know, leasing out or licensing out to people. They've moved $30 billion. Sounds amazing, right? XRP holder. Okay, Ripple's done $30 billion in payments on their new network. Dude, $30 billion in the whole world? Dude, that's nothing, bro. Forex markets are moving damn near $6 trillion per day. $6 trillion per day. XRP's got their little $30 billion started. XRP's only $0.40 cents per coin. Can you imagine what the price of XRP does when it's in between all the money? All the money, guys. Eventually, one day... The vision for XRP is to have the most liquidity out of any cryptocurrency in existence. It's going to come a point in time where XRP has the most liquidity more than any other digital asset in existence. And it's going to be the one leading the market. Right now, we're riding the coattails of Bitcoin because we're only in mile one of the whole marathon. And you saw in, you know, mile zero to one in the marathon, how, how high XRP price got. Okay. I think when we were in like, you know, 300 feet into the marathon, XRP was already able to smash $3 per coin, which puts that out of all the supply, that's three, 300 billion market cap. 
and that's with barely anything started. And uh, there's this guy named Matt Hamilton. Um, he was an XRP community member, started working for Ripple. Don't think he works for Ripple anymore, but still an XRP holder and supporter. And he even said, he said something along the lines of, I have no doubt in my mind that one day it should be able to hit $100. Shouldn't be a problem. Again, paraphrasing, not gonna be exact. So it just really goes to show, I don't know what it is, man, just getting sick, not sleeping, doing nothing. I just did all this like thinking today. I'm like, dude, holy shit, XRP actually has to be, it's gotta be $100. For it to truly work, fulfill the vision, kill off Swift, fix the whole entangled garbage, corrupt spider web of the Forex market of illiquid currency gaps and you know screwing people over, screwing over working people that want to send money over to their you know family in another country. XRP gets in the middle of all of that. You guys have seen the chart. It's like the crazy like spider web of Forex and XRP in the middle, everything else going through it. We're getting in the middle of all the money. And if I just name two currencies, it's already 55 trillion. Not even talking about anything else. Just United States and China currency market cap combined is about 55 trillion. And you're telling me XRP can't hit $10, 50, 100? You know, I'm sure you guys remember that video of that uh, that kind gentleman who was making um, this XRP video called XRP Behind the Scenes, where he looks like he's on his property and he's talking about how he's got this friend who works at a market maker firm that typically deals with treasuries and how they're meeting with Ripple. And he's telling the guy who made the video, he's like, what's, what's Ripple, who's Ripple? He starts telling him what Ripple does and what Ripple is. And, they, and he comes to the realization that, holy shit, Ripple is actually meeting with market makers that are dealing with treasury level liquidity. And what has what has Ripple been talking about much more recently than ever before? The CBDCs. The big topic of Ripple Swell, what was it? CBDCs. Uh, this guy that was the vice president of uh, central bank engagement at Ripple, Again, just paraphrasing, but it's like vice president, VP, central bank engagement discussions, relations, something like that. Called XRP. World's leading blockchain. Can't remember if he said world's leading blockchain for CBDCs, but he said world's leading blockchain. And later in that sentence, in that, you know, speech, he starts talking about CBDCs. So, the other fascinating thing is, the one thing I kind of have to eat crow on which is why I, I like literally after this scenario happened that I'm about to talk about, I am literally never going to call anything about XRP like some stupid conspiracy theory. Because, you know, the XRP community, like Charles Hoskins says, okay, we are conspiratorial. I understand. But you have to realize what we're going after here. The level of wealth we are disrupting here. The level of wealth we are trying to create and bring into fruition by changing the entire world. Basically, if you got kids in the room, tone down the volume, but skull fucking the financial system and getting XRP right in the middle of that, taking all that volume away, right? Like, honestly, if, if someone comes up with some crazy theory about XRP, like, I think the Fed buyback 37000 per coin, I think that's a little dumb, but any other theory besides the $37,000 buyback, but maybe the pre allocation of the escrow, or I don't know, but remember until the lifeboats came out. Very legendary XRP YouTuber for the time. It was very like 2018, 2019 era of XRP YouTube. To the lifeboats, he was like hitting number one views of any XRP YouTuber at that time. Didn't post every day, only post like once a week or something. And he came out with this video. And he's going, Ripple's got a private XRP ledger. And I, I myself, okay, I myself, who's been in the space for five years, I said, dude, this guy's stupid. That's some bullshit. What XRP's a, you know, uh, permissionless open public blockchain. There's no way they have a private version of it. And then it comes out in late 2020 or early 2021. Yeah, he's fucking right. Ripple creating a privatized version of the XRPL for central banks. Can you believe that? That's why any conspiracy the XRP community comes up with, I wouldn't immediately say, okay, that's bullshit. Because, dude, it just might be true. Okay, except a $50,000 buyback from the Federal Reserve. I don't believe that. The pre-allocation, I kind of do believe because it's a whole war chest of liquidity sitting there waiting to be unlocked. So that, that makes sense. I just remember the day that came out. There's an article. Go, and, go into your Chrome tab right now. Don't leave this video, but open up a new tab and type in Ripple Private CBDC. 
you're gonna see Ripple creates a privatized version of the XRP ledger for central banks. Can you believe how massive that is? Because of course, you know, these, you know, these big fat cat bankers, they don't want all their transactions public. They're gonna have to use a public digital asset, but they can trade it in between each other privately, right? That's what I'm really starting to realize, holy shit. XRP has to hit $100. It has to at least hit $100. And even for all of the money, it probably has to even be a higher price. But I'm just trying to be conservative here and just say maybe $100 because $10 trillion market cap. I mean, I mean, dude, even at, okay, my mind's like exploding. Even at like $100 XRP, $10 trillion market cap, all the XRP in existence. $10 trillion market cap. I'm not even sure that can handle the daily five trillion of the Forex market. So realistically, XRP to, to move all the, um, all the money, all the money, my little FTX or Binance or, oh, hey, I bought, I bought a coffee with my XRP. No, 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 all the money, all the money that crosses borders has to go through what we own. You're probably looking at more like a 500 to $1,000 XRP. And again, this sounds like stupid conspiracy, all oh, moon, all oh, what, oh, you're just, you know, being a moon boy, not actually looking at the fundamentals bro but dude all the money six trillion a day is moving across borders every day a hundred dollar xrp at 10 trillion market cap couldn't even handle that dude a hundred dollar xrp could not even handle the entire forex market could be swaying the price back and forth because what these banks want what these institutions want this is the end goal for xrp right now uh, if the bank wants to tank like 25 grand, 50 grand, 100 grand, move it through XRP, they can do it. They're barely going to move the market, like tiny bits. The end goal for XRP, for these banks, gigantic central banks, to be able to go into their little RippleNet system, liquidity hub, and press a button and go, okay, uh, I want to move 100 billion in two seconds for a fee of, you know, less than one penny. Four seconds. Uh, yes, Mr. Uh, $50 billion of that net worth. Yeah, yeah, uh, we sent it through already. We already got it through. Done. That's the end goal with XRP. We have this whole, you know, digital world, bro. It's it's all going digital. And it just all makes sense, dude. It all makes sense. So, I mean, before XRP controls all the money, price can still go high as shit dude i mean i can see definitely um i've seen people chart out with like fibonacci extensions and shit like that i'm not gonna pretend like i actually understand it but i kind of somewhat get it um but the fibonacci extensions uh the targets for like the next xrp all-time high are around like nine to thirteen dollars depending on whose charts you look at whose analysis you look at but even with xrp not dominating all the global money still gonna you know still gonna get us hella rich right but there's going to be a point in time, and I'm going to make a separate video about this, um, probably tomorrow or later today, but XRP is terribly misunderstood by the whole crypto community. And later today or tomorrow, I want to make a video, like try to make like a 100K, 200K view video of like, hey, to all you people that hate XRP, like you're, you're missing the point. You're misunderstanding everything and operations and psyops of people trying to get you to specifically not help in the growth of XRP by buying it. That do that does exist. Call not you Charles Hoskinson. Oh, we're conspiratorial. Oh, you're replacing Swift. That's a what did he call it? Like a, fa a galaxy fantasy. Like no, Charles. Fuck you. That is a ghost town. XRP is actually being put in the position of banks by Ripple. And so, so basically, here's where we are right now. It's the thirty-eight cent XRP. Things are getting started. Ran in $30 billion for RippleNet. Ripple liquidity hub's going good. SEC lawsuit. We're going to get that, you know, slap the SEC in the face, knock them out, get the Ripple IPO, that kind of thing. So that's where we are right now. Here is going to be the, all the money, like XRP is literally the most highest price you can ever imagine. There's going to be a point in time in between here and then where people start to get it. All of a sudden... Mark my words. And as I'm saying this, like the sun's like, you know, shining in my face. I'm telling you, it's a sign. It's a sign. Yeah? There's going to be some point where people are going to finally understand. Like majority of crypto investors, there's going to be this shift in the narrative 
okay, you know what? Uh, for the last, like, you know, half decade, we've been completely calling XRP a shit coin, centralized scam token, and it's garbage, and it's not going anywhere. And I'm telling you, there's, I don't know what's going to be the catalyst for it. I do not know what's going to trigger it, but there's going to be some point in time where people are going to realize it. And I think that's what's going to make the next all-time high. I, again, I, I don't know what's going to do it. What news, what information, what kind of pump. Maybe it's just, I mean, I'll, price going up gets a lot of people interested. Price going up gets a lot of people, you know, understanding it, right? Because once it goes up, it's like, oh my God, well, look, it's going up. It must be great, right? So again, here's where we are now. 30 cent XRP, all the stuff I said were going on. Here's the, you know, XRP literal, like, you're a goddamn millionaire price. There's going to be some point in the middle where XRP is going to get that, you know, a 10, 20, 30 run. And there, that's going to be a point where people, it starts to click with people. Because right now, um, the Bitcoin and Ethereum communities are, dude, they're, they're still bigger than XRP. <laughs> like you look at the whole entire crypto space. Uh, XRP is only two and a half percent of the entire market cap. So, dude, that's not what it should be. It should be like 10, 20, 30 percent, honestly. But I'm going to keep repeating myself here. There's going to be some point between where we are here and where we're going to go inevitably. There's going to be some point in the middle. I don't know if it's here, 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 or here. But people are going to start to understand. People are finally going to go, holy shit. As Andrew Tate would say, oh, the Matrix has been lying to me this whole time. I've been ignoring this coin. And oh, my God, it's already at $7 and a half dollars. Oh, my God, what am I doing? Bitcoin's not doing anything. It's going nowhere. And Ethereum's useless. And all these coins are dog shit. But XRP's being used by banks. You see what I'm saying? You see, you see, but just by how I'm like talking fast paced right there, that's what will go through people's minds. That's the little voice in their head that will go through their minds when all of a sudden the masses of people, they finally, it, it just, oh shit. Oh my God, I've been buying the wrong thing. You see what I'm saying? We really want to drive the point home here. It's going to be a point in time where it finally clicks for people. I don't know how, what announcement, what kind of pump, what influential person says something i don't know but at some point in time before the like all the money it's going to click to crypto investors and i don't, I don't want to see any people in these comments telling me that oh there's no you know mafia that's trying to like you know suppress xrp and uh, you know spread false information oh yeah coindesk coin telegraph remember all those flood articles oh yeah someone funded those Back in the day on the Bitcoin talk forums, which was like the crypto Twitter before crypto Twitter, they were paying out 50 to 100 coin bounties to spread misinformation about XRP on like a, you know, somewhat of a, a reputable website. It's really hard to find things on Google about it right now, but I remember seeing with my own eyes on like, I think it was XRP talk, xrpchat.com, that there were Bitcoin bounties to 50 to 100 Bitcoin. Bitcoin is trading at a few dollars per coin. Spread misinformation on XRP. I'm going to close out the video with this. People who made Bitcoin were fucking genius. Right? Don't know who that is? <laughs> David Schwartz. Don't know who it is. We don't know who it is. The early developers of Bitcoin, when they created their masterpiece, they came to a realization. Something clicked. They saw out in the future. They realized if this is going to be running the entire globe of liquidity, it's not going to work. It can't work. It's proof of work. It's mining. It's all these, you know, computers burning, churning up electricity. It's, it's not going to work. It's going to come into backlog, delays, rising in transaction fees. It's going to be a whole meltdown. So the early Bitcoin developers, aka the people who fucking made XRP, they created XRP because after um, Satoshi created Bitcoin and people found interest in it and started developing on it and writing amendments for it and working on the code base. Those smart group of individuals who I believe is David Schwartz, Arthur Brito, who is mysteriously incredibly anonymous. You can't find any picture of this guy anywhere on the internet. Arthur Brito, David Schwartz, Jed McCaleb. They were developing on Bitcoin. They realized if we're thinking out decades into the future, this is going to be garbage technology. That's when they created XRP. Which has been commonly, you know, mismatched with the name Ripple. 
And you can find with leaked emails with Satoshi Nakamoto, he actually praised Ripple in those emails. But somehow, some way, the whole entire crypto community doesn't understand XRP is the only coin to ever get endorsement from the Grandmaster Satoshi Nakamoto. You know what he said? It's very interesting that Ripple is the only other coin slash project that does something besides concentrate it into a central server. I take that as a compliment for, from Satoshi. It's calling Ripple or XRP decentralized. That is Satoshi Nakamoto, the, the, the godfather of crypto, who people are just praising and buying his first creation aren't really understanding may have had something to do with his second creation which is XRP and again guys we're just tinfoil hat conspiracy but it's a fucking crazy world we live in man anything can happen you heard the conversations behind closed doors you'd be a fly on the wall on some conversations behind closed doors you'd be blown away at what you hear so anyways guys I'm as sick as a dog got a sick XRP bag Gonna get out of the good old, uh, good old M3 here, and I'm gonna catch some sleep because I haven't slept yet. And I got this crazy sore throat, <laughs> coughing up a storm here. Um, I probably should have got the vaccine or something. I don't know. <laughs> I've gotten sick like four times this year. Anyways, guys, um, that's it for the videos for today. Hope I can inspire you and be influential. Um, just realize XRP is like I know the community sometimes can be a little bit of an easy target for a lot of other crypto communities but you just like people gotta understand why we're so crazy about this they haven't seen the things we have seen they simply have not seen the things we have seen and even if you show it to them the eyes are useless when the mind is blind thank you guys very much smash like subscribe down below let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and uh you moderators out there, please try to delete all the spam comments or scam comments as much as possible. And see, I'm already fumbling words. I haven't slept yet. And uh, yeah, guys, see you in the next one.